Hello everyone. We will continue the topic usual ABAP class. And in the previous video, we took one input for the sales document number. Our output is a internal table of six column. So we created the structure type through SC11 transaction code because here I cannot create a structure through coding. Now, what is the way to declare a internal table? You all know very well what is the way to declare a internal table. We are writing internal table type table of and we are passing the name of the structure type. This structure type can be local or can be global. Local means which you are creating through types and global means which you are creating through SC11 transaction code. Now our output is a internal table. So how I will write? I will simply write LT underscore data and it is of which type now exporting. It is our output. Now, here, if you see, if I will go to help also, have you seen, do you have any provision to use type table of? There is no provision to use type table of word type table of. But if we want a internal table, Table word is compulsory, but here I cannot use type table of word. The only provision is like type or type ref to. There is no provision to write type table of, but if I want a internal table, compulsory table word is required. If I cannot use type table of the solution is we need to create what we need to create table type we need to create table type and this is all explained in the function module topic also because this is just like a function module only in the function module also we cannot use we cannot go for type table of word so we created the table type now do you have any provision here to create a table type through coding there is no such provision here there is no such provision it means we need to create a table type through which transaction code only sc11 yes so I will go to SC11 transaction code and create a table type. And why, why we are creating a table type? Because type table of word is not accepting. If type table of is accepting, we'll simply write internal table type table of our structure. We already created the structure type table of is not accepting so we will create a table type now so i will go to sc11 transaction code i'll copy the name of the structure and we will create a table type now so i will choose the third radio button now i'm adding t just to go for table type now I will create table type. So I will simply write table type and I will pass the name of the structure inside the table type. I'm activating the table type. I will store it as a local object. Now this is a table type. Table word is there. Table word is there. So how I can simply, simply write internal table type and what is the name of the table type? This is the name of the table type. This is the structure. I'll pass the name of the table type. 
Now I will activate the class. This is the most important part because project we require this kind of work only. And this is the biggest challenge, especially for the beginners, how they can make output in the form of internal table. If I will go for simple, simple understanding, suppose you are creating a structure through coding. Suppose you are writing begin of, suppose you are writing LTY underscore data, LTY underscore data. This is the structure which you are creating through coding. It is a local structure, local structure. Now, what is the other way to create a structure? We can create a structure through SC11 also. Suppose my name of the structure is ZSTR because as we are creating through SC11, so first name will start with Z. So what are the ways to declare a internal table if you are using structure type? Internal table, type table of structure type. This structure type you can create through coding also. You can create through SC11 also. So if I will simply write here internal table type table of I can write ZSTR also. I can simply simply write internal table type table of LTY underscore data also. Both statements have same to same meaning because both are referring to structure. The only thing is this is through SC11. This is through our coding. Now, when we went for the class, there is no provision to create a structure through coding. So we created the structure through SC11. Now we, we will go for this option. Internal table type table of that structure type. But type table of word is not accepting. So we need to go for what? We need to go for table type because table word is compulsory. So we created that table type. And same way, I cannot create a table type through coding. So we created the table type through which transaction code SC11. Suppose my name of the table type is ZTSTR. If this is your table type, I can go for internal table. What? Internal table type. What is the name of table type? ZTSTR. Now here, I cannot write type table of because the table word is already in this table type. So this is what we did. If you cannot go for local structure, create a global structure. If you cannot go for table type, table of word, you can create a table type. So our input is ready. Our output is in the form of internal table now. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, yes, we created the table type. Why we created the table type? Because type table of word is not accepting. So we get a table type and after that we have written internal table exporting. It means it is the output and we pass the name of our table type. In the next video, we will start writing the logic into this particular method and then we will call the method inside the program. So that's it in this video. Thank you.